Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome. I hope y'all are doing well. I've been doing great. I had a baby about two months ago on October 30th, 2023. A precious little daughter named Miriam. We named her after the mother of Jesus or Isa alayhi salam. So it's been a while since I filmed a long video and today I just want to recap the last two months. I've been really busy taking care of her and recovering, just getting adjusted to life as a new mom. The birth went really well. I had a natural, unmedicated labor, which I'm so glad that I did. And it was a really positive, empowering experience, and I feel so strong and capable now. I wanna do a full video talking about my birth story, so I'll save the details for that. And I stayed at KOC Hospital in Ahmedi for a few days after giving birth, which I didn't expect to. I thought I would want to leave within the day after delivering, but it was great having the help of the nurses and I was able to just lay in bed and focus on recovering more. The nurses were very friendly and Jamal spent a lot of time with me there, um, making sure that I had healthy food to eat. We got some salads, some like a raw salmon sandwich because I love raw fish. And yeah, he was making sure that I was resting and now I'm feeling great. I'm feeling more like my normal self. Before I had a lot of tailbone pain where I couldn't sit down, but I got it checked out and now I'm feeling better. The first few weeks I was just laying down for the most part, just healing. But now I'm up and moving around, going out for walks. And Miriam is my first baby and I absolutely love being her mom. A lot of it is instinctual, but there's also some of me Googling things and asking my parents about. It's been kind of hazy, like time is fuzzy. I'm mainly just living in the present. My mind is really only focused on here and now and just taking care of her, making sure all of her needs are met. I've been learning a lot. You know, everything is new as a first time parent, which is exciting. I've been getting the hang of nursing and my mom came to visit for three weeks, about three weeks after I gave birth. It was such a big relief seeing her for the first time after about seven months apart. I really missed her face. Like I didn't realize how much I missed her. She is a baby whisperer and I learned so much from watching her interact with Miriam. It was so fun. My mom was totally in her element and it was cool to see because it was like a window into the past of her taking care of me when I was a baby. So that's cute. And I understand Miriam a lot more because of it, and I enjoy taking care of her more. My mom brought a lot of presents for us from the US, lots of clothes for Miriam, some cute onesies, and some pretty glasses for me, a homemade quilt, all pink, which I love, as well as a book for me filled up with photos from when I was a baby. And my dad also flew in from the US to stay with us for a week. It was heavenly having both of them here. Miriam is their first grandchild, and they're both very excited. We had tons of fun hanging out together. My dad's first reaction to seeing her was like, oh, she's so small. <laughs> yeah, so the first month, I didn't really want to leave the apartment or the nest as I now call it. In Kuwait, there's a custom of after the lady delivers, she stays either at her mom's house or her mother-in-law's house for 40 days. And before giving birth, I didn't really get why ladies would want to do this. I thought that I would feel cooped up, but now I totally get it. I thought when my mom would be here, we would show her around Kuwait, go here, go there, the slut. After giving birth, I just wanted to stay snuggled up in my apartment with my baby, my stuff, and my mom. <laughs> I really only went out to go to appointments at the hospital and to my baby shower, my stuck ball, which I'm happy that my mom got to attend. It was super fun. My in-laws arranged it. I felt so loved and special because they threw the party for me and a lot of Jamal's family was there as well as family friends and so my mom got to meet everyone and there was a make your own pasta bar, make your own wraps, beautiful flowers and decorations. It was a great time and it felt nice to get all dolled up because it had been a while, you know, after giving birth and I'm grateful for all the generous gifts. I feel pretty spoiled here. <laughs> we invited my mother-in-law over to open presents with us and that was fun. And my mom and I also went on some walks together while she was here. And me, Jamal, and my parents went out to eat a few times. We went to Fulu Yasmin at 360 Mall, which is Lebanese food. Best for tired ever. So good. We went twice. <laughs> and we went to Shandi's for Iranian food, which my dad especially loved. They say the food here in Kuwait is much better than in the US. 
And we also tried Turkish food for the first time at Izmir at Boulevard Mall with my sister's husband's family who also live in Kuwait. And my dad and Jamal went to Jama, Friday prayers at the Grand Mosque, which they really enjoyed. And I tried to soak up as much time as I could with my parents while they were here, especially with my dad because he could only stay for a week. It was like I blinked and he was gone again. <laughs> but I'm really grateful that they got to come and that we had such a fun time together. It was very special and I really miss them, but I'm glad I have a lot of support from Jamal's family here. My mother-in-law has been helping out a lot. My sisters-in-law have visited a few times. You know, they're my family here. And to stay in touch, my family and I have been doing video calls and I send them photos and videos of Miriam. My siblings are excited to meet her. So inshallah next year sometime, we'll all get together again. And now I feel like I'm finally settling into some kind of a routine. Before it was like a doctor schedule of eat when you can, sleep when you can, kind of hectic, but it's gotten less crazy and uncertain because now Jamal and I are adjusted to this new life as parents and we know how to take care of her better. You know, we're getting the hang of things. We know the drill. So Miriam usually wakes up between 5.30 and 7, ready to rock and roll. So I get up with her and nurse her, change her diapers and have playtime where she's in her activity center as we call it. It's a mat with a mobile over it where she can move freely and observe the black and white patterns to help improve her eyesight. So yeah, she loves to move. She is constantly wiggling around and kicking just like how she was in my womb. So that's been cool to see because she's the same. And she loves Jamal too. It's been heartwarming to see my husband become a dad and he's such a good dad. He's so good with her, total natural. And she has some of his features and some of mine. She has a lot of hair like I did when I was young. It's very dark brown like my mom's hair. Before, her hair was black, like silky black, but it's gotten lighter. And she has Jamal's big, beautiful brown eyes. They're so cute. And I think she's a perfect mix of us. It's so cool that she's part me, part love of my life. It's so dreamy. And we've been snuggling her a lot, taking naps together, doing skin to skin, just strengthening our bond. And I've been dressing her up in the cute baby clothes, brushing her hair, giving her baths. She's so adorable and I love being her mom. She usually wakes up every two to three hours during the day and then she sleeps for longer stretches at night. Thank God. <laughs> I've been enjoying her more and more. It's a beautiful journey and it's cool watching her grow and develop. Her cheeks are filling out and she's been more alert and active recently. She's been cooing and making the most adorable sounds and she's been smiling sometimes, which is heartwarming. And I'm more adjusted to waking up at night to take care of her, I'm not as groggy. I usually take a nap in the daytime or try to and go to sleep with Miriam between seven and 9 p.m. One thing that has been a lifesaver is the meal delivery service that brings ready-made food to our door. It's convenient and makes my life so much easier. Totally worth it because I can focus on taking care of Miriam and I don't have to bother grocery shopping or cooking and I can spend more time doing things that I enjoy. And I've returned to some of my previous habits like journaling daily, reading, playing guitar and exercising and I've been stretching every day and I've started practicing handstands again because I love doing handstands. And yeah, I've started going out for a walk every day like I did during pregnancy. And it's very enjoyable because the weather here in Kuwait is so pleasant. It's not sweltering anymore like it was in the summer. And it's my first winter here in Kuwait. And I'm looking forward to getting out more, doing some more of the winter activities and I've started praying the five daily prayers again because you know after giving birth I wasn't obliged to but now I am so Jamal and I have been praying together and I just feel so grateful to God for all the blessings in my life that Miriam is healthy and safe and that the birth went well and smoothly and I still haven't attended the weekly gatherings but inshallah this week I'll go I just haven't been ready for it because yeah I want to go because you know I want to be around more Arabic. I put a hold on learning it for the past two months because I've been focusing on recovering, taking care of Miriam, bonding with her, and spending time with my parents while they were visiting. But I've recently started practicing Arabic again, 
So yeah, that's an overview of how I'm doing and how it's been since giving birth. I've always dreamed of becoming a mom and she's my dream come true and I love her so much. And it's been fun to experience all of this with Jamal. We're a great team. And a few days after giving birth, I got emotional remembering the first time that I saw him. And now here we are living this beautiful life together with our sweet daughter. And I just feel so filled up with gratitude and love. So I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.